Well, you've just driven four hours to your favourite metal detecting spot, you've researched for months, you get out of the car and you find you forgot to charge your metal detector. And not only that, your two-way radios are flat. What are you going to do about that? Well, good day everyone, it's Warren here from NQ Explorers. Today I'm doing a product review on the Bluetti EB3A portable power bank. Now I get uh, approached by quite a lot of uh, companies, uh, I've been on YouTube over 11 years uh, to review products and I've never really done a product review other than metal detectors obviously, um, mainly because things that get offered to me are not what I'd actually practically use uh, when I'm on my bush trips and even on day trips. When Blue Eddy contacted me, and uh, full disclosure they sent me this unit uh, free of charge to review, um, I thought well here's something that I could use. Uh, on day trips and bush trips for powering devices such as uh, metal detectors, two-way radios, portable batteries um, and of course my camera equipment. It also has the capacity to charge your laptop and that kind of thing if you're uh, off-grid and you want to do a bit of editing. Um, I have had a need for this for many years but what I've done is what a lot of you blokes do and, and girls obviously uh, is to build your own so you go and buy a battery box uh, and you put a deep cycle battery in it. So a, a typical uh, battery box would include a, a little voltmeter, um, a couple of outlets, maybe USB, definitely a cigarette lighter port, and maybe an Anderson plug to charge it from solar. But of course you still have to charge that battery somehow, it doesn't have an inbuilt charger. So the beauty of these little units like this are, it's got a pure sine wave inverter for 240 volt appliances, and also uh, you can charge it from your solar panel while you're in the bush and uh, importantly it's got a built-in charger AC charger so when you're at home you plug it in you haven't got a need for a you know a brick to charge it with so it's a all-in-one unit uh, it's only four kilograms and uh, I found it to be very useful for what I do uh, I've only had it two weeks and and I'm not going to go into the in-depth uh, you know amp hour volt hour thing um, and how much you can charge on it and how long it takes to charge all that technical stuff for the, anyone who's interested in all that 12 volt stuff is readily available on the Blue Eddy website. There's lots of reviews of these little units on YouTube that uh, cover all those technical and electrical aspects, if you like, of the 12 volt unit and the battery in it. I'd rather approach it as a, uh, a keep it simple stupid type video. Uh, I just want to plug in and go. I don't need to know how it works or why. I know it's going to charge my appliances. Uh, I can put all sorts of loads on this thing and see how long it lasts, but really that's meaningless because I don't know what you're using uh, and what you're charging on this unit. Modern metal detectors mostly have built-in lithium-ion batteries. I've got two-way radios. Um, I've got a, an electric chainsaw I carry around with me all the time with one of those Ryobi 18-volt uh, batteries and chargers. That needs to run off a inverter on the 240 volt so I can charge my off-grid batteries from my Ryobi appliances and you'll be all familiar with those. Um, I've got the chainsaw, electric chainsaw. I've got a little uh, 18 volt fan we have in the van, the off-road van for uh, bush camping when obviously we're not on power because um, there's hot nights in the bush. Um, and I've also got uh, various other little appliances that I can use around the campsite with that 18 volt system and I can recharge it with this. It can take a 200 up to a 200 watt solar panel um, and of course you can charge it at home off your 240. Uh, it comes with a solar cable and it comes with the 240 cable. It doesn't come with the 12 volt cable. You can charge it off your uh, vehicle battery or your deep cycle battery uh, in your uh, off-road van or whatever you're running around in. Now, I found it to be a really useful little unit. Like I said, I, I get offered equipment to test, but I've never done it. This is the first time I've done it because this is something I'm actually using. Uh, four and a half kilos, um, easy to move around the campsite for your lighting, all that sort of thing. Uh, I find really personally, what I need to know about this machine, this unit is, is its durability and its ability to hold uh, its charge and to operate successfully in an Australian summer because this is where I am now. I'm out in the outdoors at summer. It's uh, almost 38 today, so that's 100 in the old money. The unit needs to be able to operate in Australian conditions, and as you'll all know, uh, a lot of electronics don't. Uh, 4K cameras tend to overheat and lock up. 
um, everything fades and falls apart in the Australian sun. So it's going to have to be durable. Now, I, I can't comment on its durability and its reliability. I've only had it two weeks. Uh, it's, I'm obviously not going to have it in the hot sun like this when I'm trying to charge it or charging devices off it. I'll do that in the shade under a tree or in the back of the car. But um, I found it very useful uh, and quick to charge. It's easy to use. It comes with a little uh, app. Quickly uh, links to Bluetooth on the phone app. It's completely seamless. Personally, I wouldn't use I'm not going to use the app out here because uh, usually when we're off grid, I haven't got a, any phone signal anyway, so that all the phones are turned off. It's pointless running your phone battery. Um, so I just use it on the interface out the front here. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, for what I do and, and, and the purposes that this is built for, it's perfect for me. Now, if you're going to go off grid for a lengthy period of time, uh, prospecting or exploring, uh, you'd probably want to get a bigger unit than this. This is great for day trips, your weekenders, and that kind of thing, or three or four days in the bush, where you just want to keep your... Uh, your device is charged up um, and you can of course charge it from solar too but um, you wouldn't put huge loads on it like your coffee machine I've got a 40 litre uh, 45 litre angle in the back of the Land Rover that runs off a deep cycle battery in a solar system and charged with the car I'm not going to run a, a big uh, fridge off it um, for an extended period of time in these hot conditions let's have a look at this little unit now Okie dokie, here's the unit up close. As you can see, it's got these zones that are easy to understand. Okay, so this is your input area. This is your 240 uh, volt input. Uh, there's a circuit breaker. Uh, that's your input from your uh, solar panels, up to 200 watts solar. You got a little torch up here that has got three modes. It's got low, medium, and SOS in Morse. Up on the top, you've got a, uh, a contact charger for your smartphone. You just gotta make sure you center it on the contact charger. That's a nice little touch. Uh, and then you've got your output areas, so this is obviously uh, AC, Australian, uh, New Zealand 240 volt plug. Uh, I know in the US versions they have two 110s. These are the kind of things that the, uh, in the US are known as uh, uh, solar generators, but uh, basically it's, yeah, it's a deep cycle battery with a couple of chargers built into it. Uh, and then up here you've got your uh, DC output. You've got a cigarette uh, lighter output, uh, a couple of jacks there, you can run a monitor off or something like that in your computer, two uh, USB A's and a USB C that you could uh, charge your laptop. These aren't high capacity outputs, they're 3 amp, but that's fine. Uh, it doesn't take long to charge an iPhone, for example. Um, not so much what I'd use it for, I'd be using it for charging, uh, as I'll demonstrate shortly, my two way radios and uh, uh, particularly detectors but also uh, cameras, uh, my auxiliary camera and my primary camera both charge off uh, USB. So obviously I can charge two devices there and I can run another one off the AC, it all operates at once and you get a lovely uh, readout showing your uh, discharge and your percentage of battery remaining. Okay, let's have a look at the tech specs of the EB3A. It has a built-in 600 watt AC pure sine wave inverter, a lithium ion phosphate battery with 2500 plus life cycles, and a smart fast charging system. Well if you've watched any of our uh, metal detecting and bush adventures for any period of time you know we do a lot of off-grid work. Even on day trips we travel to very remote areas. It's typical of us to drive six hours to get to a spot on a day trip and six hours return, three hours three back to get to a site. Um, so you don't want things failing while you're out there. Now what it, at the moment you can see the blue eddies on and I've got 240 uh, there charging my two-way radios. Uh, and I've got uh, the next item to be charged through the 240 will be the uh, Ryobi 18 volt 2.5 amp hour battery we'll see how we go with that now that little power pack uh, goes inside an AT Max or the Garrett AT range as you would know they are uh, usually operate on 4 AA batteries but I've got this uh, we don't use that we've got the lithium ion power packs that we use and they have to be charged through USB or mains I'm currently charging the Apex uh, that's a lithium ion and uh, then we've got the uh, Axiom which has a very uh, quite a substantial um, lithium ion battery that lasts several days but uh, I like to top it up every night when I come home from a prospecting trip because you don't want to be in the middle of nowhere with a flat metal detector because uh, that uh, really ruins your day. Now that's why this thing, this little EB3A to me is a handy uh, metal detecting accessory. I've got uh, 
Garrett MS3 headphones there I have to charge. Or, I mean, there's a the modern arsenal of anyone going outdoors, whether it's metal detecting or photography or uh, just bushwalking, generally requires a lot of power. You've got smart devices and cameras that uh, all have uh, built-in batteries that need uh, charging each night. Replaceable batteries are pretty much a thing of the past, so this is a very handy unit for that kind of thing. Uh, as I said in the intro, what would concern me is this unit operating in extreme heat. Obviously I'm not going to put it out in the sun, I'm under the shade of an old gum tree here. But uh, long term I'd, I'll do another review after six months when it's uh, a bit more beat up looking and it's done a lot more work and uh, see how it's performed through the summer in this situation. And I have had many situations in the past where I've turned up on a site and my camera battery flat due to a administrative charging error the night before or that kind of thing and uh, this would be very useful uh, for such a, 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 an application. Um, as I said it's 4.5 kilos so it's very light to carry around but that said it's the kind of thing you'd want to put behind your cargo barrier in your car or in the uh, tray of the ute and you need to tie it down. Um, it has no tie down points or any way to tie it down. I wouldn't use the handle for tie down, it's plastic. Uh, my process is put a ratchet strap over the top of it. It would have been nice to see a couple of little recesses to uh, uh, in the top to allow the strap uh, to tie it down because uh, it, it will need to be tied down and in heavy corrugations, uh, ratchet straps move and that kind of thing and that's a slippery sort of plastic. So something Blue Eddy might want to look at in the future is uh, giving that it's an outdoor unit, uh, some way of securing it in a motor vehicle. But anyway, that's uh, the kind of thing I'll be using this unit for. I will do a follow-up review once I've had it a few months. Um, very useful bit of, bit of gear. Uh, the, quick, the smartphone charger on the top is an awesome little touch. Uh, as I said, there's no point really me uh, saying what it can do uh, charge-wise. It's a, it's a 12 amp hour battery basically, so uh, that's all you need to know because it'll depend on the load you put on it and the input uh, that you're able to uh, charge it with, such as solar, or uh, if you're not off the grid, well, mains is not an issue. Um, or if you're going back to camp every night and you've got access to power. But for daytime charging, like, uh, you know, lunchtime sort of thing, like the situation I'm in now, I'm at an old school, so I'm about to metal detect. Um, I've got the peace of mind that uh, I'm not going to get a flat battery on a metal detector because I can recharge it very quickly. So that's... Uh, how I'll be using it, useful a little bit of gear. I don't, uh, as I said earlier, generally review equipment, but this is one piece of gear that I will use that I should have had years ago. I've constructed my own out of battery boxes and uh, deep cycle batteries, but in the end, this is a self-contained unit with a uh, pure sine wave inverter, and of course, uh, a built-in AC charger uh, so that it, it just plugs straight into a wall with a single uh, cable. Very useful bit of gear. Now, as I said earlier, it does come with an app I don't find apps terribly useful uh, in the bush. It's fine at home because it uh, links uh, seamlessly. You don't even have to sign in. It just links straight away through Bluetooth. But mostly uh, in these kind of conditions, you can't even read a screen on a phone. And even the screen on the Blue Eddy is difficult to see, but it doesn't matter. I know it's doing its job. So out here, I wouldn't be using the app. I generally got my phone turned off anyway because there's no point having a phone out here where there's no reception. Uh, so for me, I'm just back to basics, press the buttons on the unit. That's what I'd rather see than trying to fiddle with a smartphone and link an app. Like I said, it works fine at home. It gives you input and output information. It's fully controllable off the app, it's great. It's got three charging modes you can set it on. You can also do that on the buttons. Um, and it's got a turbo mode. Uh, it does have a cooling fan in it, but you can use a silent mode whereby, let's say at night, you want to charge it uh, in your caravan uh, off your 240 volt if you're on uh, uh, shore power and you don't want the fan running because it will run a fan as it uh, charges to cool the unit you can put it on silent mode and, and the fan will stay off you can run it on turbo mode so you get a quick charge and that kind of thing but all those details are in the technical uh, links at the bottom of this video if you need to know about charge times and discharge and input rates but uh, generally in this situation where I am now I wouldn't use an app or I don't use my smartphone it's just uh, not really practical to be honest uh, and it's clearly labelled on the front. It's got several zones, as I showed earlier, uh, about what you're doing there. You've got a two input, uh, the input zone and two output zones, AC and DC. All very straightforward. All 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick look at the little baby Blue Eddie, the EB3A, 12 amp hour power unit. Uh, built in sine wave, uh, pure sine wave inverter for your 240 uh, requirements, USB outlets, and it's chargeable by solar, your motor vehicle, or of course, mains power. It's the sort of unit I will use. Uh, it gives you peace of mind when you're on a day, even just on a day trip, and you haven't got access to power. And mostly we're off grid and out of any uh, mobile range, that's for sure. Um, that you don't have to worry about your metal detector battery going flat, uh, you know, prospecting or relic hunting. You can keep your two way radios charged, you come back to the vehicle at lunchtime for a cup of tea, and uh, you can just juice up your gear. Um, very easy to use, lightweight, self contained unit. Uh, I like it, I like the look of it. Um, time will tell about durability. Uh, it's got a two year warranty, so that's not really an issue, but uh, it came beautifully packaged from Blue Eddy, and you know, only a couple of days from uh, Blue Eddy Australia. I think it'll uh, be something I'll constantly use. Uh, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.